Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. And by the way, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I hope you had a great day. I hope you're gonna have a fantastic weekend as well. We, uh, we have some interesting news today. We have a fire on board one of the Disney cruise ships and let's talk about a man who went overboard on a carnival ship and the story may sound a little familiar. First story, let's talk about a small fire that broke out on the Disney Wonder. It was from an electrical short in one of their speaker systems outside. Now, it doesn't sound like a big deal, or, but you know how fire can be the, is basically the worst thing that can possibly go on on a cruise ship. Uh, you don't want to be in the middle of the ocean with a big fire on your ship. You got nowhere to go but into the ocean kind of thing. Well. Uh, this fire broke out on one of the funnels. The speaker was above one of the funnels, and this funnel happened to be the one that houses the Teen Club vibe on board. Now, no passengers were in the immediate area of the, the fire, and the crew went up, the firefighters put the fire out, and they cordoned off the area and closed some of the decks for a few hours while they made sure everything was okay. The good news is nobody was injured, it did not spread, they caught it quickly, and uh, good job by the Disney Wonder crew to put that out before it turned into something much, much worse. Uh, a speaker outside on the funnel, uh, there's no like emergency water suppression system or foam system like you would see in the cruise ship to, to put things out. So yeah, quick job, could have been worse. And the good news is nothing really other than the deck being cordoned off for a couple hours, nothing disturbed the guests. Okay, our second story is a little more detailed and uh, tell me if you've seen the, you see the theme building as I'm telling you this story, the Carnival Valor was on its way to Cozumel and a passenger was reported around 12 noon on Thursday as being missing. The crew ship immediately started calling out the passenger's name to report to customer service. They handed out pictures to security who went around and started checking the ship and asking people if they'd seen them and checking cabins. And the ship turned around to retrace their steps while they looked for the gentleman. The man went overboard the night before. Apparently, uh, he was last seen around 11 o'clock in a bar. Uh, take that with what you will. He was last seen around 11 p.m. in a bar where he got up to go to the washroom and use the restroom and didn't return and it was his sister who reported at, by noon the next day that she hadn't seen him or heard from him since then, and she was very concerned. The ship wa contacted the Coast Guard. They started a multi-vessel and multi-air search. Numerous planes, helicopters, ships, all the other ships in the area were notified. After a few hours, the Carnival Valor was released from the search since there were so many other ships in the area. They had retreat, trace the steps, were on their way to Cozumel, and uh, I can just imagine how terrified the sister was on board with the gentleman gone missing. Now, through some extremely good fortune and extremely good luck, the man was spotted by another ship, and one of the rescue helicopters hoisted the man up from the water where he was reported to be responsive, although a little worse for wear, shall we say, after spending a few, quite a few hours in the water. He was immediately brought over to New Orleans emergency medical staff who were waiting for him when the helicopter landed. He still reported that he was, in, he was still responsive but was being brought in to the hospital. This man, shall we say, was extremely, extremely lucky that the waters were calm enough that he was able to stay afloat for that amount of time, plus the fact that he was spotted by another vessel 
and the helicopter got to him in time. We're currently unaware of any complications or anything else at the time of this video, but the, again, the good news is the man was found because uh, it's not very often that people going overboard are ever, ever found. I think it's like one in 20. When you go overboard, one in 20 are found and not every one of them survive. So I think today is a pretty good news and that person has a lot to be thankful for on Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's right, uh, you know, because this could have been so much worse and I'm hoping that it doesn't turn worse. I hope the gentleman is okay. Um, I just, I found it very funny that in a sad way that the whole report says the man was last seen at a bar leaving a bar how many stories have you heard that that seems to be the theme right the person was inebriated the person had been drinking all night this sort of story right and um, i don't know it just uh i hope that wasn't the case but as of right now that's the story that we're hearing it's kind of scary kind of sad but a good warning again for everyone out there i like an i like a nice drink when i'm on the cruise ship as well especially if i have a drink package uh, i'm going to have one or two drinks but that's what i'm going to have i'm going to have one or two i'm not going to have 40 15 20 i just i couldn't do it i would be completely out of my head and not know what i'm doing because i'm a i'm a lightweight when it comes to drinking i really really am i have uh if i sail on royal caribbean uh i get at least four drinks free a day and i just came off the harmony of the seas and i use my four drinks every day to buy a drink for four people at our dinner every night that's all I use the drinks for. I didn't buy any other drinks during the cruise. I used those and I only had one of the four drinks. That lets you know what kind of lightweight I am when it comes to drinking. But I think this is a pretty good day because there was a fire on a cruise ship. It was put out, no one was injured, no real damage. Everybody's okay. And we had a person go overboard and they were found and responsive and back on dry land. I think that's a pretty good Thanksgiving. I hope your Thanksgiving was as lucky as a lot of the people in the stories today, or at least just had a great day with your family. And I want to thank everybody who texted me and gave me a call to wish me Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, even though I'm Canadian and ours was a while back. <laughs> I still appreciate it. And I hope you all out there have just an amazing, an amazing weekend. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button until next time. Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.